What's up, guys? How you doing? It's your homeboy, Cowboy Crunk, coming to you from Manama, Bahrain, Military Logistics Headquarters for the Middle East. I'm here just showing you the view. What I have every morning when I wake up is great. Uh, this is outside on the front balcony. Uh, I wanted to do a little video. Uh, that's into the living room there. I wanted to do a little video on uh, the current situation with the Dak Prescott. I know that's the hot topic right now. We've seen a thousand videos on it. But I've got a little bit of a different uh, concept of how, uh, how it may go down, how I hope it does not go down, but, but it really, really looks like this could have some uh, peculiar circumstances that, that we haven't seen before, especially due to the signing of Andy Dalton. Uh, I wanted to show you guys, uh, I got something what I've been setting up here for the last couple of days. This is kind of odd. My wife wants to kick my ass for doing this. It's been sitting here for two, three days. I've been going over the numbers and, and all that. Uh, this is what I call the Dallas Cowboy dinner table. And what I've got set up here is a breakdown of the salaries by position, uh, such as your, your secondary, your running backs, your offensive line, your defensive line, your uh, linebackers, your wide receivers, and your special teams. And at the head of your table, you got your quarterbacks. Uh, and how the quarterback pay could affect what we have to going on this year as well as next year, uh, how the cap works, what Dak is asking for, what uh, the situation with Andy Dalton coming in here uh, and, and being a three-time Pro Bowler, winning 40 games in his first 10 seasons. Uh, something I, I, you know, I don't want to see, I want to see Dak sign. I want to see Dak sign long-term. But I want to explain to you guys how uh, the quarterback position is getting out of hand. Uh, the percentage of the salary cap the quarterbacks is, are asking for is too high, and it's putting these teams in a situation where they can't compete. They don't have the weapons around them. They, they lose defensive players. They lose offensive weapons uh, because the, I'm just going to show you real quick. Uh, currently, with the salary cap, uh, with the franchise tag, uh, I know this is funny, guys. I used beans. I went around the table. I actually broke this down uh, by percentages. I did the whole salary cap. Each player has a, a portion represented. Each position has a, and I'm not going to explain this whole thing today. Uh, what I'm going to do, this is the intro to the next video. I'm going to sit down in a minute. I'm going to cut this off. I'm going to sit down in a minute, and I'm going to uh, explain to you by the numbers uh, what Andy Dalton is offering and what Dak Prescott is offering. Uh, and and as far as money goes and and statistics and what and another another cute thing on this video you're gonna see is the situation between McCarthy and Aaron Rodgers and Aaron Rodgers uh, Mike excuse me Mike McCarthy's last year at Green Bay was the year after uh, Aaron Rodgers signed his big contract so Aaron Rodgers signed his big contract halfway through the year is when uh, Mike McCarthy just didn't want to deal with that anymore. Uh, and, and I think there was other things involved with that besides just Aaron Rodgers' attitude. Aaron Rodgers was handed that big salary. He was handed the team. They Basically, they said, we trust Aaron Rodgers more than we trust Mike McCarthy. Uh, and Aaron Rodgers, I think, took advantage of the situation. And it pushed Mike McCarthy out. Uh, but in, in saying that, this is, this is 3.1, uh, 3.1, yeah, 31, excuse me, $31.4 million worth of beans. And this is $3 million worth. And that's what Andy Dalton is asking for. What this video is going to do, and I don't want to see it, guys. I'm not saying this is what I want to see. I want to, I want to tell you, and I want to explain to you from a business perspective what the Cowboys are looking at. And if they keep Andy Dalton and they have till October 15th, four, excuse me, five preseason games, and six regular season games, that's 11 games into the season, they have to see if, if Dak Prescott is worth that much more than Andy Dalton. And if, if the play is similar, if the play is somewhat similar, they're gonna look to Andy Dalton and they're gonna ask him, what type of a long-term deal would you be looking at? That's gonna put a, Dak in a serious situation for a possible trade uh, or possible even, you know, I, I wouldn't say if, if other teams realize, are realizing the seriousness of, of the situation with the quarterback, it, put, it could put him in a position where he gets released and we pick up a, you know, a compensatory pick for him. 
I, I would hate to see that. I don't think that that like is almost impossible to happen. But if there's a team out there that's desperate for a quarterback and they're willing to pay the three point one million on the uh, franchise tag that Dak is under, that that's a trade situation. That's a trade situation. We bring somebody in. Andy Dalton goes long term. You know, if they looked Andy Dalton and say, what what would you want in a long term deal if we decide to stick with you? And if he says he'll take twenty million over five years, you know, a uh, hundred million dollars over over five years, twenty million dollars a year. You're saving $15 million a year. That's $15 million a year you could put on your secondary. Uh, I mean, which, which we don't even have. We don't have $12 million spent on the whole secondary. We have no money put into our secondary. Uh, wide receivers. You have two wide receivers that we're going to have to pay soon. These two, uh, Michael Gallup is going to be uh, requiring a salary uh, in the next few years. We got two linebackers, Joe Thomas and LVE, that are going to be required to get paid in the next couple years. That's money if you had a cheaper quarterback that you would have to keep these guys. I'm not saying I want it to happen, guys. This is not what I, I want to go down. I'm just showing you the options that when we picked up Andy Dalton, uh, when we picked up Andy Dalton for $3 million a year, and he's from Texas, and he could take a, you know, a, a guaranteed low deal, uh, that saves the Cowboys a bunch of money, it may be something the Cowboys want to do. I want Dak in a Dallas Cowboy uniform. I want him as our franchise quarterback. I'd like to see Andy Dalton play here and move on and get signed next year uh, to a long-term deal with another team. But this could play out completely different than, than the Cow uh, Cowboy fans are thinking it's going to play out. And the reason is Andy Dalton has the ability to play some ball. He's not as good as Dak. And I put Dak in the top five at the quarterback, as a quarterback in this league probably more times than any, anyone on, this on, on YouTube or that's running a channel. I keep him at the top. You can look at every statistic. You can look at every the way the statistics are put together. Dak Prescott ends up in the top five in, in every category that they, that they rate quarterbacks on. You can judge him. You can say he's under the microscope, and every throw he makes is – is important, and that's why he's looked at as, as, as not being as accurate as he is, his accuracy is off, and he don't throw the ball down the field. And you can look at statistics, and it all, all overcomes those negative things being said about him. Um, I, you know, I know he's under the microphone, uh, microscope, and if you watch, if you watch and you watch football, you see him make bad throws, we don't get third down. It's only because the Dallas Cowboys are always on TV. We're always in the news. It, yeah, of course, you see it more. That doesn't mean it's happening more, guys. Look at the statistics. Look at the analytics of it. That's why Mike McCarthy, I believe he moved on from Green Bay. He wasn't upset about it. He took a year off. He practiced his coaching. He had a, a coaching team going together, and they worked on things. Um, in this video, I had planned on sitting down here at the desk. Uh, I've been crunching numbers. This whole thing with... with uh, the contracts, the way they played out, uh, Jerry Goff, Carson Wentz, Aaron Rodgers, uh, Matt Stafford, uh, um, even even uh, Russell Wilson, I've got his numbers. The way it worked out after they got paid, how the team fell off of an average of two to three wins. An average of two to three wins the two, three years after they signed their big deal. Uh, and it's because you, you on an NFL team, it's a, it's a team sport. You have to have players and weapons around you, and when you make these deals, it, it's it. You cannot hide 30, 35 million dollar salary. You can push it down. You can split it up. Do guaranteed this way. Uh, it, no matter how you do it, that salary sooner or later hits the books, and you have to pay for it. So, for people to say, "Oh, well, we got the money to do this, and we can still sign this player," yeah. But what it does is it hurts your mediocre players, your middle players, your depth. You know, your Joe Thomases, your guys on special teams that you could have, you know, outstanding special team players, but you don't have the money to spend on them. So you got to just throw your backup wide receivers and your, 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 you know, Tony Pollard's going to need to get paid soon. I don't, I don't know the way we're going to be able to keep him. Uh, and for another reason, we have so many offensive weapons, we're not going to be able to get the guy the ball enough. And if we can't get him the ball enough, he can't show his talents. If he can't show his talents, he never gets paid. So you're going to see guys like Tony Tony Pollard, because we we got uh, you know C.D. Lamb, um, get less touches, and it, it's going to affect their long-term 
uh, ability to stay with the Cowboys. He's just not going to get the ball as much as Wine. He hasn't had a chance to prove himself yet. Uh, anyways, so uh, this is where I stand, guys. I'm going to go ahead and cut this video off. I'm going to prepare the next video. The next video will be about uh, how Jared Goff, Carson Wentz, Aaron Rodgers, uh, Matthew Stafford, um, uh, the guy from the uh, Atlanta Falcons, the quarterback for the Atlanta Falcons, their, his, his was even more dynamic than some of the other players. When he got paid, uh, the, the overall ability of the Atlanta Falcons to, to uh, you know, hold a playoff contention type record, it was really, really hurt. Uh, so um, put the video together, guys, Cowboy Crunk. I'm trying to do my thing. I'm trying to stay here with you guys. I'm getting back into it. It's just now I'm so far behind. There's so much to go over. Uh, this Dak Prescott thing, there's, there's two, two deadlines. July 15th is not going to happen, guys. There, there's no way. They're going to they're gonna let Andy Dalton play some football and see what he has before they sign Dak long term. Yeah, unless Dak comes way down, and I'm talking way down, uh, it, just the salary of these guys has hurt their teams. The quarterbacks are killing their teams. They're not going to sign Dak Prescott unless he comes way down. Uh, they're going to give Andy Dalton the ball. They're going to give him the opportunity to see what he has. They're going to compare that to Dak. They're going to see that he's not Dak Prescott. But they're also going to ask him, well, then what, what would you take on a long-term deal? And can we take that money and spread it around the table and put food on the table for everybody? And that's what they're looking at. They're tired of releasing players and releasing two, three players for, for or watching other teams release two, three players or having to uh, redo contracts because the quarterback wants his money and that demands more than anybody else. Yeah, and that, that, that shouldn't be the way it is. You know, you should think as a team concept. I don't give a damn about Dak Prescott's money, Ezekiel Elliott's money, Amari Cooper's money. I give a damn about winning a damn Super Bowl trophy. I give a damn about winning one of these damn things. And if paying this guy doesn't allow us to pay these people, that's what I give a shit about. Dak Prescott's a top five quarterback. It's not our fault that the rest of the teams drove the quarterback salary up here. It's, that's not, that's not has shit to do with us. The Dallas Cowboys have a decision to make. Do they want to keep Dak or not? Stay in there, Dak. Hang in there, baby. Take, take a home team damn discount. I know it sounds horrible, but it's not your fault, man. Peace.